Hello, Carrie Rhodes here. Welcome to my stamp studio here in Eagle, Idaho. Today is episode two of my April stamp set of the month series featuring the Peekaboo Fair stamp set from Avery L. In today's video, we are gonna be making some fun folds, some tri-fold cards with a little surprise to them. So they're gonna be so cute, at least I think so and I hope you do too. So let's go ahead and get started. Here's a look at the Peekaboo Pal stamp set. That is my stamp set of the month. We'll be using that along with the Peekaboo Scary Pals because I wanted some magical creatures to go with my unicorn. So you can see here the three that I'll be using today and some of the little elements from that set as well, the little sign. And then of course the Ferris wheel. I love the stamp. That's gonna be for card number one and I'm stamping all the images I need for card number one right here in Lawn Fawn's Jet Black Ink so I can color them with my Copic markers. So let's do some speed coloring. <laughs> here is the unicorn. I'm just using some tonal gray markers, no neutral. I did neutral gray for this guy. I do like the tonal ones too though. And the particular set of Copic markers that I got, which is set B, happens to have like all the grays. So I really get my pick of grays when I'm coloring. And I used the neutral grays for the unicorn. And then some pinks for the hair and the corn. And then you can see those fun like sea green um, seats for my Ferris wheel and then some gray for the edge and I just like the kind of retro feel of that super cute all right now for the little dragon I'm using some V markers so he can be really cute in purple I thought this look was so fun and it would also be great for a Halloween card these little critters and little monsters but they go good with the unicorn too. So he is really cute with his purple wings. And then I'll color his, uh, he has like three horns. So the center one I did purple and then the outer ones in gray. And then of course his little claws to match and my little T-Rex. Honestly, he's my favorite from the set and why I really had to get it. Um, we like T-Rexes in my house. So I'll, um, I think I have a video with a really cool T-Rex card. I'll try to link for you guys. It's um, really cute. All right, so then you'll see here, I'm just doing paws, pink paws, because the critter that goes with that, I'm going to be stamping on the inside of this card. So I don't need to die cut him out. A little gray for my sign, and then I'll stamp a sentiment on that that says enjoy the ride and that's going to go on the inside of the card too. I've got those all die cut out and now I'm going to draw some arms for I, their legs really, their legs for my unicorn because I want the unicorn to have its legs up over its head while it's going on this ferris wheel like we you know you put your arms up so <laughs> It's just straight black lines and then when I cut it out, I didn't cut it off at the ends. I left a little space to glue on all the things. So here I'll show you gluing that together on the Ferris wheel. Here's arm number one and I just put it to the side and then glue a little hoof onto the end and I've got the look I wanted. I think it's so fun and a really easy way to get another look with the unicorn. So we'll glue those hooves on. How cute! <laughs> Love it. And then I have some pieces there of the unicorn just die cut without any stamping on them, and that's to add stability to this because we are making a gatefold card and the first flap of our gate is going to be this Ferris wheel. So it needs that little bit of extra strength. And I have the same thing for the back of my dragon and my T-Rex. So there it is all done. I love it. <laughs> all right, so we have two pieces here that measure five and a half by eight and a half and are scored at four and a fourth. On the first one, on the 
front flap, we're gonna partially die cut the Ferris wheel. So partially die cut means I'm not gonna cover it with my plate. I'm gonna have the plate stop at the edge of the die. I'm gonna run it through my die cut machine just like that so it doesn't cut it off, but it's gonna cut away all the parts we don't want for this card. So I'm just gonna poke out all those negative pieces around my Ferris wheel and then we have to do a little snipping to remove that outer edge. So I'll bring in a self-healing mat and a ruler and a blade, and then I can just cut that top piece away by lining up my blade with the edge of the ruler. I like to do this two times. The first time is a really light pressured cut, and then I cut all the way with the second pass. And that helps me get a little bit better precision because I am not handy with this blade. It's just not my thing. All right, so I had a little bit of overhang there, so I'm gonna cut that away, and it's just, I'm just cutting along the scored line. Otherwise, I'm gonna have this little flap that's gonna not know what to do. Like, should I fold over? Should I stick up? It just, no, it had to go. All right, so that is the front of our card, and we can glue the Ferris wheel right to that. So the Ferris wheel itself is being made more sturdy because it's two layers, and then all the critters have two layers as well. So that just gives it a little bit more stability because it is, you know, a lot of open space there, but it's so cool. So now we need to make a background on piece number two. See how this is gonna to fit together? We're gonna to make a background there on that flap that will show up behind the Ferris wheel. I have a piece of masking paper that I cut so it would just cover that crease in my card because when I do some ink blending, I don't want it to get onto the other flap. So now I'm using some mustard seed and spiced marmalade and picked raspberry for my ink blending to create kind of a sunset look. And I'm going to go over this two times. Um, so I'll do all three colors once and then all three colors twice using my makeup style blending brush here. And that will really intensify the color. And I'm making sure that I clean that brush off in between colors on my microfiber cloth right there. And these will blend together so beautifully, but it's just kind of easier, I feel, if you put down that really light layer at first, instead of trying to really get that intense color right away, I like the building up and it helps the blending a little bit. Also, I'm not, I don't know, as particular on this card about getting really smooth like there's some darker spots and some lighter spots but we're going to add some splatter and some sparkle to this so it doesn't really hurt my feelings if I have a little bit of that going on so there I sprayed it just my sprayer was off camera with some plain water pick that up with my paper towel and then for the second layer of splatters I'm bringing in the Avery L Claire shimmer spray. I'm just gonna pull that out so I can get some larger droplets, but often I will spray this right on my card to get a fine mist, and I really love that too. Just a different look for today. Love it. So we're gonna set that aside to dry, and in the meantime, we're going to stamp the little critter that's going to be on the inside of the card. See how these fit together? Make sure you're putting those together a lot when you're making this kind of card so you don't accidentally stamp something in the wrong place. Okay, so here we are stamping this little critter. He could be a Yeti, but he could just be a little monster. So I'm gonna color those, or color this little guy with the same colored markers I used on this card. And then I'll add a little sign that says, enjoy the ride. And his cute furry little, they're paw claws. They're both, paws and claws. All right, so there we have that panel. Now our uh, sunset panel should be dry. We're gonna stick those together without adhering them at first, just so I can get pop proper placement for my sentiment that says, have a wheelie happy birthday, and stamp that in the corner with that same jet black ink. So now when I pull this out, you'll see there's a little overhang from the inside of the card. So I'm going to trim a little piece off of this edge so it can snuggle up inside the other card a little bit better. So it's just a hair. 
See here, just a hair. And if you do just a hair, snuggle it back together and make sure you've cut off enough. If not, you can cut off another hair, but you don't wanna cut off too much. Otherwise you're gonna have a gap when you open up that card. So we'll just tuck that in using liquid glue allows me to scoot it around and make sure I have it right where I want it, right in place. So there we have our trifold card. Let's put some embellishments on. So I have some stars here die cut from some glitter paper. These stars are dies from the same Peekaboo Fair set and one from the Peekaboo Scary Pals. And they are made to die cut out the stars that are stamped images in these sets. But I thought it was fun to just use them as they are. They're a little um, more bubbly in shape. And then I'm gonna stamp an extra star in the mustard seed and in the picked raspberry, just for a little added accent. All right, I'm gonna take that same clear shimmer spray, put some on my glass mat, I'll pick it up with a water brush and add some sparkle to my unicorn horn and the stars on each of the carriages of the Ferris wheel, um, the hooves of the unicorn, the wings of the dragon, just wherever I felt like a little extra shimmer would be fun. So that completes this card. Actually, there is one more thing I add to it. I thought it would be cool to have a little bit of shine on each of these. Plus, I had one tooth of my T-Rex that got colored green. So I whitened his tooth and added some shine marks on my stamped images to finish off this card. So now we're gonna make another gatefold card for card number two, and it's gonna open the opposite way. And it's gonna feature the bumper cars. So let's get started. Here's the stamped images. I have colored them with the same colored Copic markers and die cut them out so they are ready to go for this card. I'm going to go ahead and assemble my little bumper cars. One of them has the unicorn in it and the other has the T-Rex. And they'll each get a flag for their car. I colored those with purple. I kind of wanted a rainbow feel for these cards without them being like perfectly rainbowed. So I have all the rainbow colors in them. I also have extra die cut pieces to make these more sturdy as well because they are gonna be sticking up um, on their own at the top of this card and only be secured at the bottom of the bumper car. So all three of those things, the animal, the flag, and the car have an extra piece to back them. You could just use scraps of cardstock here. It also helps cover up your Copic coloring. All right, so we're going to do some more ink blending on this card. I'm going top to bottom, starting with the pick raspberry, then the marmalade, and then the mustard. And I will, again, do two layers of each color just to intensify that. And here is the reveal, taking off that masking paper. For this one, I smooshed my little ink pad down onto my glass, mixed it with a bit of water and a bit of the clear shimmer spray to add some splatter to each of the three sections. And I love the way that that turned out. Just another fun way to use it. The, the sparkle, the shimmer is a lot more subtle in that. So I went ahead and splattered a little bit directly from the bottle on there. So you have like two different layers of sparkle. All right, for this second card piece, I took an oval die, laid it on my card and traced the edge of the oval die and then cut it with a pair of scissors. And that's gonna give me the little hill for my bumper cars to sit on and then I ink blended that so it looked grassy with my mode lawn distress ink and the same splatter across the top of that one. I love the little green speckles, so fun. All right, so now once I have that done, I can peel off my masking tape and I'll adhere my bumper cars. So right about now is when I'm starting to realize that this is a love card. I didn't know that these two were gonna fall in love, but they did in the making of this card. You see that T-Rex? He just loves that unicorn and she is very flattered. So I'm gonna put those together, stamp out my sentiment. This time it says, so great bumping into you. And we'll stamp that with jet black ink in the sky right above them and then 
you know, because they're falling in love, I thought some little enamel hearts would be super cute on here. I found these in my stash, and uh, I think they're from the Spellbinder shop. If they're still available, I'll link them below because they're really thin. I like that. Not too bulky. So cute. For this card, I'm going to use some sentiments from the Peekaboo Pal stamp set. Um, on the inside flap, it says, couldn't resist telling you, but it's hidden. So you don't see it till you open that first flap. And then all the way on the inside, you're the best. Then I'm going to stamp the dinosaur and the unicorn. Look how cute they are. They're in love. So I colored them and I'm going to stick on their little feet so that they're almost touching, like holding hands. And I'm breaking like a big rule here. Those teeny tiny die cuts are going over the fold, the scored line. I wasn't sure this was going to work, but I went for it anyway. I'm using my stylus tool and a ruler to put a crease line on those. Some of them weren't quite stuck on, but I gave it a try. I let them dry. I stamped a little heart there from the Peekaboo Pals set. And then I folded this up, used my crease tool. And when I opened it, uh, yeah, they weren't sticking down. So I just added a little bit more glue to those bottom parts of their feet. And it worked. <laughs> So it's okay to break the rules sometimes. All right, so adding a little bit more shimmer. It, this looks so good on the headlights. When you turn this card in your hand, the headlights look awesome. It's my favorite addition of the shimmer in this project. Love it. And of course, to the unicorn horn, um, and then the little flags on each of the bumper cars. I tried to paint a heart, but it, it didn't really show up. So I just painted the whole flag, and there are the two cards, these gatefold cards with a surprise opening. I hope that you've enjoyed it. I was um, inspired by recent videos from Jennifer McGuire. So thank you, Jennifer, for always being an inspiration to all of us. Love you. All right, so adding a little gel pen to finish it off. And there's my two fun cards for episode two. I hope that you've enjoyed today's projects. If so, give me a thumbs up. And if you have a favorite, leave me a comment below and let me know which one. I will be back again next Tuesday with another video featuring the Peekaboo Pal Fair stamp set. Couldn't get that word out. So make sure you tune back in. And of course, I will have other videos between now and then. And if you want to know when I post a video, subscribe and ring the bell and YouTube will let you know. Thanks so much for watching. I will see you all again very soon. Happy stamping. Bye.